there is so much wonderful talent here at Sweet TNT, and this is a perfect example. I have with me Ray Sudu, and uh, he's been on the show before. He's a pastry chef and a fantastic cake artist. This here is a, <laughs> I think it's a triple deck burger with fries and ketchup. <laughs> All cake. Amazing. Um, this young man was on the show previously and did, that was in the Black Panther phase, and he did a fantastic impression of Black Panther that wowed us all here on the show. He brought a burger and fries to me this morning as I'm trying to not eat meat and cut back on sugar. <laughs> <laughs> Let me welcome Riz back to the show. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you for having me. And, and it's all guys this morning about uh, desserts with that Regal Touch brought to you by the folks at Regal Products. And Riz is here to do and really showcase, I think, the dates and the pecans yes. from the Regal line. Yes, I am. Tell me, what are you doing this morning? All right, so we're going to do something. It sounds very fancy, mm. but it's really simple. It's a double chocolate mousse with a date and pecan crust. Double chocolate mousse. Yes. Date and pecan crust. Yes. Mm. So let's get cracking. Let's All right. What, how, how easy, as yes. you say, this is to do. You can do it with, your, with a blindfold on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can I do this with a blindfold on? Mm, maybe not. No, <laughs> probably not. <laughs> All right. So first, we're going to start with the mousse, so mm -hmm. we can allow it some time to set. Right. So what we have here is just equal parts, semi-sweet chocolate and milk. We melt it and allow it to cool. To cool. Then we're just going to fold in some whipped cream, right. already whipped cream. Right. We have no um, sweetener added to it because the semi-sweet chocolate has a little bit of sweetness and then the, the sweetness from the dates is going to just help in the sweetening of right. the dessert itself. Right? So you're just going to... be too sweet. Exactly. Right. So folding that in. Yeah, so you're going to fold this in. Mm -hmm. And then just to add some, the double part of it, we have some dark chocolate chunks. Oh, so that's why it's double chocolate. Yes. A double chocolate mousse. Okay, All right, so we're just going to fold in the chocolate, dark chocolate. And could we have used semi sweet chocolate there as well? Yeah, or? you can. Yeah, yeah. But it's just to help give you like an additional, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Right. And that's also for a little texture and bite there yeah, as well. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's it for the mousse. That's it. That's what, the mousse. what we're going to do now, we're just going to put it into the molds. If you don't have a mold, you can put it in a piping bag and just pipe dollops and freeze it. Okay. Okay. Right. But these molds are available now. Yes. Yeah, these molds, okay. you can find it in almost any kitchen store. Yeah, yeah. And if you don't have, can't find this specific sphere mold, you can, whichever one you feel most comfortable using, that's fine. I mean, I'm looking at you just already, just dolloping. It's not anything fancy. No, it's really simple. So, uh, I'm just, just going to take our spatulas. Right, just okay, to, so you, yeah, I got you. I got you. And just, just, just curiosity. Mm -hmm. I mean, what are you going to do with the rest of that mousse? You can have it. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of mousse that I'm seeing not be used there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so we have this here. So we're going to put it into the freezer now right. and allow it to freeze um, approximately two hours max. Oh. Given the shape, right. it would not take too long. Yeah. Two hours is not too long. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but two hours, it needs at least two hours. Yeah, to because accept. we're going to add a glaze to it and we need the glaze to set when we are pouring the. Uh, right. Tell mousse. me you have them in the fridge? Yes. Yes. Okay. Because I know we don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to put this in the freezer. <laughs> right. And, and while this is in the freezer, I'm going to make the crust okay. by this time. Okay. So Reese is doing a double chocolate mousse with a date and a pecan crust. And the dates and pecans, of course, it's all about the dates. And pecans by Regal, guys. You can get uh, these dates and pecans uh, from the Regal line of products. And he's done, now going to do a date and pecan crust. Yes. Yeah, so for the food, we're just going to use a mini chopper mm -hmm. or a food processor, whichever mm -hmm. one you have. Mm -hmm. And equal parts again of the pecans and the pitted dates, dates from Regal. And just to add a slight bit of um, depth, we just have a little bit of cinnamon powder okay. to it. Yeah. 
And I'm saying is there not much chocolate being used, or, and not much, sorry, sugar being no. used in, in the recipe as so, well. So you can have at least three of these one. <laughs> <laughs> you can eat guilt free. So you're just going to pulse it. And then we're going to end up with this. Serious? Yeah. So let me just add that sure. texture. So that texture so it ends up into a like gooey. Uh, it's not too gooey. You can taste it mm. and you'll see. It's not too gooey. Not too gooey. And you get this slight bit of crunch Crunchy from the mm. pecans. Oh, it's very good. Yeah. So we're just going to have this. And we're going to just, if you have parchment, you can use that. Mm -hmm. Or plastic we're going to use here. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to press it out to a very thin um, base. So this would be the what our mousse would be sitting on. Oh, right, so that's like a base, a crust. Yes. I understand. And this crust is also a no-bake crust, so. So let me show you what we're actually going to be making. Right. Oh. Right. Oh. Oh. Right, so I'm seeing the layers here now. So you, yes. have, you have the crust below, which you're now going to... Yeah, so we're going to... I'm just using one that's roughly the same size right. of the base of the sphere. Right. There you go. It's really it's simple, right? Really. Very yeah. simple. And that's it for the base. And then now you bring your mousse back out. Yes, yeah, so the two, two hours. hours has passed. <laughs> <laughs> two hours booked by just like that. Reese is ready with his mousse. As like I said, no bake is ready, just putting, pulling the mousse together, which was simple, simple ingredients. So now we have our frozen mousse. Right. So I just have it on this, um, if you have a cooling rack, it's fine. Yeah. So when we pour the glaze, it's just gonna go over it and allow the excess to drip off. Right, right. right. All the tricks in the trade, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. we're going to rest it on and just decorate it. Let's see, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So Let's we have our sure. glaze, which is just some melted chocolate as well. Melted chocolate. Yeah. Nothing fancy in that Nothing glaze? Nothing fancy. Melted chocolate? Yeah. Just going to pour it over, not too warm. Now the glaze can't be too warm, obviously, because it's going to melt so your mousse. The glaze needs to be cooled as well. Yeah. Just so. gonna wait a bit for it to settle mm -hmm. and then we're gonna rest it on here. Okay. Right. Think you can do this? No. No? No. Reese, <laughs> I will spoil that lovely glazed mousse and there you go. We have the next one. Simple so far, right? Simple, simple, simple. And we're, we're technically finished. And we're finished. You want so we just have seeing, those? See, yeah, seeing the little garnish that you have. These garnishes? Yes. Do you want to rest on one? What is it? It's, it's, it's this is just white, white chocolate. chocolate. White chocolate. Perfect. So there are two things that I could have done. Yes. I could have rest the garnish. And you can and eat can, one. And I can taste one. <laughs> <laughs> so let me I can eat. taste one. And you can plate one off of me. While Reese is plating, guys, uh, Reese drops the recipe for us. Get the recipe on trinitycooks.com. You can try this very simple they call it a big fancy name, double chocolate mousse with a, a date and pecan crust. And the dates and pecan, of course, by Regal. And this is desserts with a Regal touch, guys. I want to thank Reese for dropping by this thank morning. Thank you for having Reese, me. Reese, I must just, wow. So the mousse is all nice and frozen. Yes. There's a perfect little crust that did not bake. Wow. So you can have all five? All three? <laughs> and it's not too sweet. Yeah. It's not too sweet. This is less than what? 10 minutes work? Yeah, less than 10 minutes. Less than 10 minutes work. Thank you, Reese. Thank you. Um, check him out, guys. It's, a temp it's tempting, tempting temptations. Tempting temptations. Reese to do. I want to thank you very much for my burger. And You're fries most welcome. This um, <laughs> a fantastic young man and doing some fantastic work out there. Check him out on tempting temptations. He does these things. He books these things up in no time at all. 
Thank you. Yeah, all right. <laughs> we're taking a short break, guys. When we come back, uh, much more fun to come in uh, the uh, Cup of Joe Kitchen studio. Remember, Ocean Delight, cook like a gourmet chef. Mmm, that's on. <laughs> <laughs>